Hi, I'm back with this week's experiment using one of these. This is the third in the series, I think. I think you're really going to like it. it uh, we like to call it the sneezing alien experiment. You'll see why in a few minutes. Here's what you need. Okay, Rowan, you're going to help us with this experiment today, are you? What's it called? It's called the sneezing alien from a galaxy far, far away. Sneezing alien from a galaxy far, far away. That's a cool name. And you made him, did you? From yeah. your bottle. Okay, will we get started? Mm-hmm. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is add some water, okay? So about a third full. Okay, so keep going, keep going, and that will probably do, okay? You can see that we've already placed the bottle into the, the glass tray for when it gets messy later, isn't that right? Okay, so what's next? We're going to add food colouring, will we? Mm, wait, wait. Food colouring next, okay? So you add, we'll put that in there while you're adding it. So we're going to use green food colouring, but you can use any colour. Good boy. And pop that into your alien. Good boy. Okay. <coughs> That's down here. Put it down there. Okay, so next we want to add some washing up liquid. Okay. How much? Just give it a squeeze. Maybe two seconds, okay? One, mm, two, two, stop. Okay, nice Came and messy. Quickly, <laughs> so it go in his mouth. That's okay. Okay, so that was the washing up liquid. We're nearly ready. We want to add some mm, some bread soda now. Okay, so we'll use your funnel. If you don't have a funnel, you can use a rolled up piece of paper like Let's we did in the other ones. Looks like he's squeezing. It does. So one big spoon. You can take a little bit more on that spoon. Okay. Pop it in. Did it all go in for you? Yeah. Okay. Good boy. So we've only one more ingredient to add. So you give it a mix. Just before we do, so we're just using a chopstick here to mix it. So we want the piece of paper for? That's if you don't have a funnel. You can roll that in and use that. Okay, is it well mixed? Okay, I, I think so. Okay, put it back down there. Okay, we'll turn him around so that we can see him. Okay. His mouth. Last thing you're going to add is the vinegar. How much? The whole lot. That's about 35 to 40 mils. Okay, so wait now. One, two, three, go. Pour the whole lot in and woo! Achoo! I think he sneezed. <laughs> oh, look what's happening to his arms. Uh -huh. oh, he's fainting. What did you think of that, Rowan? Good. Did you like that one? <laughs> <laughs> What did you think of it? He's his nose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say bye for the camera, Rowan. Bye. Wipe, wipe. <laughs> as you can see, he really enjoyed that. I hope that you get as much enjoyment out of it as he did. Um, I'd say he'll be raiding my supplies for the afternoon now. Just to give you the science behind that, uh, you know we've used the vinegar and the bread soda for the last couple of weeks. This is probably the last one we'll do with them. But you know now that when you mix vinegar with bread soda, one of the things they produce is carbon dioxide gas. And when we added in the washing up liquid, we managed to trap that carbon dioxide gas and make all that uh, foam. And the food colouring was literally just to colour the foam to whatever colour you want. You can use any colour you want, we use green. Um, I think that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like the experiment or try the experiment, do let me know in the comments below. Always love to get the feedback. And otherwise, we'll be back next week with another experiment using one of these.